I am Silver Plains, and this is the top five most popular super expert levels of the week for the week of September 30th, 2024. So let's just jump right into it at number five, Unsafe Underground, Kaizo Light by Mazario. A light Kaizo level in the Unsafe Underground. One checkpoint. And uh, I am recovering from COVID. My wife has it currently, so... Yeah, this is why we're getting a Saturday video. I have not felt well enough to record, and even today it's kind of like, wow, but, you know, I'm doing it. Okay. Pretty straightforward stuff so far. Oh, for heaven's sakes, man. Alright, well, let's just do it again. Uh, I do like this level. It looks cramped, but it provides a lot of room to maneuver. So, that is much appreciated, and the indicators are pretty good as well. Uh, I shot him the wrong way. Alright, we got progress. Okay, so we got standard bomb spins going on. Big full jumps. Buy you enough time. Mm, hello? Okay, yep, that works. That works very well. Fun level, I liked it. Pretty short and sweet and yeah, good aesthetics too. Let's move on to the next one. In number four, we've got Koopa Troopa World by Takum 2, 3-4 Takum 2 Kaizo World. One checkpoint, good luck. Always fun to see some Kaizo Super Worlds out there and Kaizo Enthusiasts. Notice the one-up at the beginning of the level. That encourages players to continue with the Super World without, you know, worrying about running out of lives. I think 1-ups in Super Worlds are especially important when you get to checkpoints, because sometimes it's kind of hard to get to a checkpoint. In this case, not that hard, but, you know, each, each level, each world is different. Okay, that was a really fun section. And we will bring the Yoshi with... I'm not always a monster. Sometimes I like to take my Yoshis and uh, provide them safety and comfort. So we'll get that Yoshi the hell out of that castle. That was a good level. I really enjoyed it a lot. Number three today is Scorching Heat Kaizo Light by BC. BC, one of our favorite makers from Japan. This guy knows how to make a Kaizo, and I see him often in the top five. So, not too surprised to see him again. Uh, oh, wow, that's interesting. So I gotta hit the POW into the springs. We're starting by, uh, squirting a giant Koopa again, I notice. It's kind of interesting. Just an observation, I do like these setups, very nice stuff. And we're at a checkpoint. All right. Another big Koopa. Ooh, I should have bonked that. So you gotta cut right a little more. Okay, we're doing awful jumps for this first part. Get it to line up. The flow there is magnificent. Um, that you you can't awful jump. I really wish there was a bucket there to hold that big shell in place. So the big shell goes a wall. Kind of does what it wants. Um, you gotta bonk this and then control your jump. Okay. And now we just got other stuff going on. Cool, cool. Yeah, we did it. Lots of one, uh, one checkpoint levels today, and they are all a blast. That one we didn't have any Yoshis to save or murder. Maybe in that question block, who knows, but no free range Yoshis at least. Let's move on to the next one. Number two comes to us from Mozart. It's a chill shell bounce level, all full jumps, shells to bring home to your mom. 
Okay, so I'm gonna have to pay attention here. There's some pretty cool setups going on with this one. Just one uh, on switch on that ceiling there. Cool. Progress, we got a checkpoint. All right. Oh, that was fun. Okay. And then I just gotta jump from there over to the bucket, and then it looks like there's a pipe. A vined pipe, too. You know how I love vines on my pipes. Yeah, we're in there. We didn't even need the vine. Okay. Oops. Definitely too far right of that indicator. So, final section. Coming at ya. Okay, yep. Big jumps. And that was all there is to it. Mozart is such a magnificent level creator. He makes, like, the most challenging and smooth stuff, I swear. That was so good. Loved it. And in number one today, we have Bowser's Castle Kaizo Light by Marble Run. Complete Bowser's hard and challenging course and defeat him. Okay, and this level has been fixed. We're playing a later version of it. Could be the second, could be the seventh. Who knows how hardcore this dude is about fixing and what the issues were. So I know sometimes I've had to really fix a level and then fix it again and again. Nothing wrong with that either. The important thing is that you're making something you're proud of. And, uh, yeah, so sometimes you need multiple fixes to do that. Look at that, that vined up pipe. Just beautiful, majestic. Oops. Okay. Well, I almost did it. I got a little ahead of myself there. Alright, anyway. This all lines up brilliantly. I really like that setup with the shelmet too. Pretty unique take on that that type of a setup. Hey, there's my guy. Nice use of the Koopa control too. Are we already done with this? Do we get to fight Bowser? Oh, there he is, and he is dead. They hand you that Bowser win. That was also just an excellent level. Really five phenomenal courses today, and I feel like playing one more because I burned through those in 15 minutes. So yeah, let's go ahead and check out what number six is as well. So going down past all the awesome levels we've played, number six is Fiery Pit of Despair by Reaping Cell. Four out of four star difficulty, but it's a 1.45% clear rate, so pretty great clear rate on that. Shell Kaizo, you gotta love Shell Kaizo. So we're doing a shell jump into a drop. And then we'll just have to see what else is uh, coming. It looks like there's a practice door, perhaps, too. So, gotta warm up on my shells today. I don't know if that's a practice door or a reset door, but we'll just leave it be. Okay, nice. Appreciate the vine, as always. Okay, another shell jump into a drop. Hey, look at that. We got a checkpoint here. That is quite nice. Okay, and a Z-Surf, that was a little bit blind, but not terrible. I noticed something about my channel over the last few days. It has lost some subscribers. So, YouTube was cleaning up bots and inactive accounts. Unfortunately, some inactive accounts and or bots were following me. Uh, quite unfortunate, because now I am down below a thousand subscribers again. Feels like, uh, you know, quite a few steps back after working pretty hard all year to, you know, put out content and stuff, but that's okay. 
I don't do this for a living, I just do it for fun. Um, and I want authentic and unique viewers. I don't want, you know, bots or anything following my channel. So, you know, if you're a real person, you're out there and you're not subscribed yet, maybe consider subscribing, you know, drop a comment, drop a like. Uh, I always enjoy hearting all the comments. I hope that doesn't bug anyone. Uh, and I respond to them all too. So yeah, uh, we'll get back over a thousand, I'm sure. Especially if like Mario Maker 3 ever comes out, I think we'd really push it up there. Um, I'd go pretty hard with that game if and when it does come out. Who knows? But I'll continue going hard with this game for the time being. I still love it. It's a great game. My favorite game on Switch. So yeah, let's drop a like on this and I will bid you all farewell. I hope you have a great day. Uh, sorry for the late video, but again, had COVID. I uh, got it from a business trip probably. And I am just now starting to feel better. So yeah, much love, good vibes. I will see you all in the next one.